Ugh, can't believe how much, how many pages this report has to be. Single space, 12 font. Oh, jeez. I really do not like 6th grade. At least I get a break. Hello? Hey, Sage. Hey, what's up? What's up? Uh, yeah. Is something wrong? Why was you and your mother so mean to your sister? What are you talking about? While you were at, while you were at baking club, I sat in the I sat in the seat where you usually sit, and I sat next to Krissa. And she told me what you and your mom said to her. Well, what did she say? What did she tell you? She said that you wouldn't let her eat. That mom told her, that your mom told her she was fat. I don't think mom would do that. I don't think mom would say it like that. She'd probably say something like, you need to eat a little healthier. And she does. But I highly doubt mom called her fat, and I certainly didn't call her fat. I don't know. Why would Chris lie? Sage, you're supposed to be my best friend. You're supposed to believe me. I don't know. I don't know, Grace. I mean, you and your mother are picky when it comes to fashion. Sage, I promise you, I didn't say that to Chrissa. Look, I gotta clean this mess up. Alright, talk to you soon. Yeah, whatever. Bye. I guess my homework could wait. I have something more important in mind. Hey, Mom. Hi, honey. How's that report going? It's fine. Do you need any help? I do need help, but not with my report. What's wrong? You look upset. I am upset. Well, have a seat and we'll talk about it. Okay. Here, honey, have a smoothie. <sighs> Strawberry banana smoothie is not gonna stop this problem. Okay, what's going on? I got a phone call from my friend Sage, and she said that Chris has been talking about us while I was at baking club. She said, Sage told me that Chris has said that you and I told her not to eat and that she was fat. I didn't say anything, and you obviously didn't say anything, did you? No, I just told her she needed to eat healthier. All I've seen her been eating for the past few weeks was chips and cookies and things like that. I would never say tell her that she was fat or not to eat. That's what I thought. But Sage is really mad because she thinks I'm lying. Well, listen, I'll talk to Sage for you. Right after I talk to Krissa. To calm down, we'll fix this. I hope so. Just don't tell Chris I told you. I'll try not to. Now, why don't you go back in your room and get, get to that homework? I, I'm, I'm got to talk to Chris. Okay. <sighs> Kids. Can't live with them. Can't live without them. Come in. Hi, sweetie. Hey, what's up? I need to have a talk with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, I'm listening. Without you playing on your laptop? What's up? Did you tell Sage anything out of the ordinary about me and your sister? What do you mean? Did you tell Sage that me and your sister told you not to eat anymore? No. Why would I do that? Chris, I want the truth. I am telling you the truth. I just told her, I just asked Sage what healthy snacks she recommends because I have to eat healthier. That's all I said. I never said, I never even mentioned your guys' name. Really? Are you telling the truth, Chris? Are you going to believe someone you hardly know or are you going to believe your own daughter? Well, I'm sorry, honey. It's just that I have two daughters, and each one is telling me something different. Mom, Sage is the one who's lying, and she obviously must have called Grace and confronted her. But I would never say anything bad about any of you guys, and you should know that. You really should. 
All right. I'm going to call Sage and we'll get this mess sorted out, okay? Please do, because I would never say anything bad about you guys. Never. And I can't believe you thought I would. Okay, Christy, you need to calm down. No, I'm not going to calm down. You can judge me like that? Honey, I'm sorry. Let me, I'm going to call Sage's parents and we're going to get this straightened out. All right? And then I'll talk to your sister. Am I in trouble? At the moment, no. But I'm going to call Sage's mother. We'll get this straightened out. Okay? Almost done with this report. Come in. Grace. Hey. I just called Sage's mother and she talked to Sage and Sage had said only s s told Krista that she needed to that she needed to help to eat healthier. Sage's mom said that Sage never said to her that I wouldn't let her eat. Well, Sage told me something different. Well, I think Sage lied to you or misunderstood what her mother said or what Chris has said. So, Chris didn't say you and I wouldn't let her eat? No, Chris has said that she thinks that we think she should eat healthier. And I listened to Sage instead of my own sister. Well, I'm going to go talk to Chris and apologize. And I expect you to do the same. Right after I make a phone call. <sighs> boop, 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 boop. Mm, mm, mm. Hello? Sage, I have a bone to pick with you. Krista, it's your mother. Can I come in, honey? It's your house. Hey, sweetie. You're certainly singing a different tune. Can you put your computer away, please? What, do you have more lectures for me? Honey, please. Whatever, you're the mom. I have to listen to you. What is it? I called Sage's mother, and it turned out that Sage lied to your sister about, about what you said. Mom, I kept trying to tell you that I would never talk badly about you, but you wouldn't listen. I know, and I feel terrible about that. Well... You should feel terrible. I mean, I would never talk bad about you. I don't have a history of that. If anything, Grace talks about you. I know. And I'm very sorry that I didn't believe you, kiddo. Well, I guess it did look pretty bad. And I know I do bend the truth sometimes. But I would never lie to you about something like this. That's just way to the extreme. I mean, I would never talk bad about you and Grace, especially behind your backs, and you should know that. I know I should. I should have known it before, and I know it now. I'm really sorry, kiddo. You really hurt my feelings. I know I did, and I'm sorry. But I'll make it up to you. You don't have to make it up to me. The only thing I want you to do is to believe me instead of jumping to conclusions once somebody you hardly even know says something about me. I promise. I'll consult you, okay? Okay. We'll get washed up for dinner, okay? Okay. <sighs> yeah. Hey. Look, I really owe you a big apology. Yes, you do. Before you went telling Mom, after Sage lied to you, couldn't you have talked to me first? Instead of snitching on me behind my back? When I didn't even do anything? Look, 
I know. And if it makes you feel any better, I called Sage and broke up our friendship. You what? I called Sage. I heard what you said. What I mean is why? Because she almost got you into trouble and she was lying. How could I be friends with someone who lies about my family? And if she lied about our family, who knows what else she would have lied about, either in the past or what she will lie about in the future. <sighs> Maybe, but I don't want you to lose your friendship with Sage because of me. It's not because of you. I'm doing it because I love you. Well, you can love me, but don't break up friendships for me. I, I feel terrible. I don't get it. Are you mad at Sage for lying about you? Of course I am. But... It'll pass over soon. Call Sage and make peace with her. I don't mind. But how can I when she lied? Look, I can't force you to be friends with Sage. That's up to you. But don't do it just for me. Maybe I should call Sage. I'm not ready to be best friends with her yet, but maybe I should call her and we could talk it out in school tomorrow. I will see what happens. But thank you for letting me give Sage another chance. Well, I didn't exactly let you. I'm kind of telling you to give Sage another chance. You guys have been friends since preschool. I don't want to ruin that. I love you. I love you too. Now go call Sage. <laughs>